And here we'll just take a quick look at some interesting discontinuous functions, and we'll look at these on the calculator. The first one is y equals the absolute value of x over x. Let's pull up the calculator and put this in. On the TI-83, the absolute value is on the math menu, and you go over to num, and it's option 1 there. So punch that absolute value of x, close parentheses, divided by x, and let's graph that. And look at that. And if you think about it a little bit, that should make sense. If we just had this, if we just had y equals x over x, well, that would be the same as y equals 1. That would just be a graph that was at a y value of 1 the whole time. But that's not quite what we have. This absolute value here changes things when x is negative. When x is positive, the absolute value of x is the same thing as x. So when x is positive, this is just x over x, or 1. And, and we do have exactly what we saw when x is positive. It just goes out to the right, like that, at a y value of 1. But when x is negative, when x is negative, the absolute value up here, the numerator is still positive because of the absolute value sign but the, the denominator is negative. So when x is negative, we have a negative number, a positive number divided by a negative number. So it's negative 1. So it looks like this. And there's going to be a hole at x equals 0. So we graph an open circle right there and also right down here. So that's the graph. And that should make sense. You can reason through that. You can see it on the calculator but you can also just reason through it and that's a valuable reasoning to be able to do. Okay, similar thing on sine x over x, this second function here, or the absolute value of sine x over x, but we get an oscillation this time. Let's plot this. So we have the absolute value of sine of x and then I'll close parentheses on the sine x and close parentheses on the absolute value. So that's absolute value of sine x divided by x. And then let me real quick just switch this to a standard zoom window right there and see what we get here. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in so we can see a little bit better. Just click zoom and option number two. And there's the curve. Now you can't see it here. You could see it a little bit in the earlier in the earlier graph but this is actually oscillating if you go out to the left and the right really far you get you do get oscillation but it actually bounces off the axis it, on the right side when x is positive it actually stays above the axis and on the left side when x is negative it stays below let me adjust the window here I'll change my x x to negative 10 and positive 10 we'll keep the y values where they are and graph that and you see it kind of bouncing there, bounces off the axis. Now the, the limited resolution of the screen makes those lines appear straight near the origin. They're really not. They're, they're really curves. So you should see why it stays positive the entire time when x is positive, because when x is positive, this will always be positive because of the absolute value signs, and this will always be positive, so it always has to be above the axis when x is greater than zero. So it ends up doing something like this. And the, the amplitude of these bounces gets smaller and smaller. That's because as x gets bigger, we're dividing by a bigger and bigger number. And then when x is negative, it did something like this. And it's always negative because this will always be positive because of the absolute value signs. And when x is negative, that will always be negative. So the value of the function as a whole will always be negative. And as x gets more and more negative, we're dividing by a larger and larger magnitude number. So those oscillations get smaller and smaller. And again, we've got a discontinuity here. These are both open circles, if you want to graph this properly, at x equals 0. The function is not defined at x equals 0 because we can't plug in an x value of 0 into this expression. That would give us a 0 denominator. But both of those are discontinuous functions, step discontinuities.